Hello, welcome to My Five. This is the volleyball channel about all things volleyball from coaching, playing, fundamentals, technical stuff, top fives, best things, worst things, all the things. Thank you for joining me. Today we are talking about rotations. As a player, learning rotations can be really, really hard. And as a coach, teaching rotations can be even harder. I found a way that I thought worked really well with my 12-year-olds. These are very beginners, actually 10 and 10 and 11 and 12-year-olds. They got it in about an hour. We live in a society that likes to understand why, and I thought maybe they don't need to understand why we have to stand on the left side of the middles just yet, but if they could memorize where they go, maybe that would be better. Just like we memorize lyrics. Lyrics are easy to memorize, right? Everyone memorizes lyrics. So I made a song. The song kind of goes along with all of the plays and all of the sequence of events that happen in a rotation. You start serving. Serve, face defense, transition, attack. Then we receive, transition, attack, and defend. Rotate, serve, face defense, transition, attack. Receive, transition, attack, and defend. Laugh if you want, it worked. Now, when I tried to explain and describe where on the court players go for these rotations, I used my rotation sheet right there. And I will post that in this video in a minute and you can slow it down and pause it and write it down if you want to. But I figured that after hundreds of ways of trying to get them to learn the six rotations with six people on the court, I found that they got distracted or they were worried about where somebody else was going and they couldn't focus on where they were supposed to be. So I broke it down into just their groups. I teach a 6-2 to begin with and I have all the right sides and setters in a group and they all travel together through all six rotations. All the outsides are in a group and they travel through all six rotations as a group. And all the middles and libros they travel together through all six rotations. But I start with just those three pods on the court at one time. Not six people, just three. So the outsides really learn their position through all six rotations. And setters and right sides learn their position through all six rotations. And they can see when they rotate in the back row, they're setting. And when they rotate into the front row, they're hitting. Now in the video, you'll see that the tempo of the song that I just sang isn't quite the pace of the actual game, but the steps are the same as they think about what they're supposed to do next. And there also might be some differences in positioning. I have my Libros play left back, you might have your Libros play middle back, and that's fine. Just switch your positions and modify this drill as you see fit. Hope this helps you both learn it and teach it. I was pumped that they were able to play in about an hour, and they were pumped to not be confused. It's a win-win, great day. Here's an example of a standard 6-2 rotation sheet that I made, and in your far left corner is the traditional lineup. In the middle column is the serving rotations, and serve receive is on the right-hand side. Same with rotation two. and rotation three. On the back side is the rotation four, five, and six with rotation four looking very much like rotation one. Rotation five is just like rotation two and rotation six is identical to rotation three. Just with different players in front and back row. Okay, serve, base defense. Transition, attack. Okay, now get into serve, receive. Receive, transition, attack, and defend. Good, okay, rotate. Now we rotate. Yes, outside hitters a serve. Okay, middles, you're gonna get the net again. 
We're serving, middles, you're at the net. Yep, base defense. Okay, ready? Serve, base defense. Transition, attack. Good, okay, now receive. All right, ready groups? Okay, receive, transition, attack, and defend. Good. Rotate, rotate, rotate. Middles, you guys come all the way back. You're the next to serve. Yes, you can go over there because that's you're gonna go to defense over there. All right, so now we're serving, ready? Serve, base defense. Transition, attack. Good, nice job. Okay, receive. Middles, come over here. You enter the game over here in the right back. You guys stay, outside stay. Yep, you get to stay. Good. Okay, so now we receive. Transition, attack, and defend. Good, good. Okay, now Libros, you guys can go all the way up to the 10 foot line. Yep, you guys can go all the way up to the 10 foot line. Now where are you gonna go play defense? Yep, you gotta go over there, correct. All right, okay, so now we are receiving, no, we're serving. Okay, so the other setter is now serving. Ready? Serve. Base defense. Transition. Attack. Good. Okay, now we're in receive. Set up receive. Yep, you guys are back. Yes, good job. Okay, receive. Transition. No, outside, right sides, nope. Attack, now defend. Good, okay, we rotate. So now we have a new outside that just rotated to serve. Okay. Serve, base defense, transition, attack. Good, okay, now we're in receive. Libro, shove over to the middle. Libros go to the middle back. Outsides back up to pass. We're receiving. Now you're gonna receive and transition attack. Okay, yep. All right, okay, right sides, you guys ready? Okay, receive, transition, attack, and defend. Good, rotate. Yes, now you have new middle, yes. Good, so we got a middle serving. Okay, we're, okay, serve. Base defense. Transition. Attack. Good, now receive. There we go, outsides, middles, and rights. Okay, we're receive, transition, attack, and defend. Good, rotate. Okay, so we're back in rotation one. Okay, see that? Yep, middles are at the net. Yep, and you guys are ready to go was such that once they learned their position all together on one side with eight or nine people in one pod traveling around the court, then I separated from eight or nine people to four or five people and put those pods onto separate sides of the court. And then they were traveling around in smaller pods. Had two sides going, but same system. Once they had it down pretty good and the rhythm pretty good with less traffic, 
I could separate the pods and now have them in actual positions. So a setter in right back and a right side in left front. Then we could go even faster. And it started to feel a little bit more like a real game. Ready, serve, face defense, transition, attack, receive. Receive, transition, attack, your front row, and defend, your front row, go to the front row. Okay, rotate. Just serving, ready, serve. Base defense. Transition. Attack. Speaking of real games, once they learned their rotation pretty good and they were hesitating less and they kind of knew where to start and where to go, I was able to just let them play. We, I started to initiate a ball and just put uh, jersey markers on them. The middles were green and the outsides were orange. So they could see when their opposites were going into the back row or into the front row. Hope that makes some sense. Thank you for stopping by and watching. Let me know if you liked it. More videos to come. Subscribe, share, and have a good practice.